welcome to the next vlogmas video i'm just sitting down here as a change of scenery because um ryan worked last night he only got back this morning so he's gone to bed and i'm now trying to find a spot to do my makeup which is not a problem i've just coached myself here downstairs and I'm going to be doing my makeup so I thought I would just do it with you to talk through anything that I have been using recently I also don't have a mirror so I'm going to be using my camera to do my makeup so please forgive me um I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation I always use this you probably know that I use this so much even used it on my wedding day because it's pretty much just as good as the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So, I mean, if you can get that at a fraction of a price, why not try it? I swear by this foundation, it is so nice. And it's one of those that just so happens to um, get better with time, whereas a lot of foundations kind of evaporate during the day or they, you know, they go, they break up a bit and um, they just don't look so good this by the end of the day oh, it looks beautiful so i have full faith in this foundation and i highly recommend it by the way i'm using urban decay's all nighter concealer in fair neutral um i don't wear this found uh, this concealer often but it's here in my little bag of things that i brought downstairs so i'm going to use it hopefully it sits nicely for the day but I don't have too many plans on for today, so if it doesn't sit so nicely, that's all right. For bronzer, I'm wearing my Hula bronzer, which is my favorite. Um, I love this stuff. I think this is probably the only bronzer that I've ever finished because the others I find, you often find there's an orange tint to them, whereas this one's more of a brown. And I just like it that way. I don't like it looking too orange on my skin. You know, it probably has a lot to do with your skin color and whatnot. But anyway, this is just what I like. Then for highlighter, I'm using the Master Strobing Stick, which is from Maybelline. And this is really pretty. And you'll note that I put bronzer on first and then I'm going in with a cream highlighter. And normally you would go the other way. You would go cream first, then powders. But this one... Whatever formulation it is, it sits nicely on a powder, so I never worry too much about it. You can even apply it over your blush, but I think I'm just going to put it under my blush today because um, I don't want it to be, you know, too dramatic or anything. I'm not really going for dramatic today just because it's daytime and the weather's so beautiful. So I'm going to be using this Maybelline blush, and this is in the shade dare to pink it's a really hot fuchsia but i just tap a little bit on my brush and a little bit goes a very long way when i first got this blush i really passed my brush in and uh, you can only imagine the outcome of that blush application <laughs> i don't think i left the house like that so i think i went and wiped it off so you can see the pigmentation here already is strong so you know you do need to work it in actually going to have a look on my mirror now because I just want to work it in I don't want it to be too stark or too dramatic or anything but I do like having a pink blush I always love having a pink blush I know a lot of people don't even wear blush anymore they just stick with their bronzer but I love a good pink blush so that's that today I'm going to be using the um Urban Decay Naked 3 palette purely because I haven't used it in so long and I just felt like doing something soft and pink on the eyes, something light and summery so let's see how this goes. I'm going to be using out of the shades I'm going to be using the lighter ones. Normally I go for like a dark in the crease and then I go for a light one you know on the the inner edges of the eye and today i think i'm just gonna keep it light fresh you know just light and pretty almost like barely there but there's a little bit of something something there 
So I'm just going in with, um, this is dust. So it's like a glittery pink. I wonder if you can see it. And I think it's so pretty. So yeah, I think I'm actually going to put this over the whole lid. And I haven't washed this makeup brush. So it does still have a little bit of dark shade on it probably. I kind of like that. I think I would even leave that just that single shade. That glittery pink soft color. Maybe I'll do one more. I'll do the very next one down, which is burnt out. So I'll put that on a little bit as well. Like a coppery shade in it. It doesn't look like it in the pan. But on my eye, it does pick up a little bit of a coppery shade. But very pink. So, I like that. I think that's quite pretty, actually. Okay, then... I would like to just put a light shade on the inner like, tear duct area. So I'm just going to pick up the lightest one, which is Strange. And see. Yeah, that's all I need. Just that little pop there to open up my eyes. I didn't think it was going to work so well when the brush has got a million other colours on it. But it seems to be working fine. So this is literally taking me next to no time to do this. Which is great. So I used the Benefits a Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I've been using this for years. I think I've been through three. Um, and I always come back to it. It's so nice. Because it's got the spoolie on one end and then it's got the pencil on the other. So it's quite handy to have. And I think I'm just going to apply this on my lash line. Just for a soft kind of look not as stark as a black would be and i do love myself a black line liquid winged liner for life except today <laughs> so it's all soft very light pretty nothing too dramatic and then i'm going to go in with some maybelline great lash mascara this is in black is black it is my favorite mascara I've been using it since I was in high school, so I've used a, a multitude of other mascaras as well, but the one that I always come back to, it's like coming back home, you know that feeling? You'll go out, you'll go and try different things, you'll go on holiday and whatnot, and you always come back home, this great lash mascara is home to me. <laughs> right, for lips I'm going to be using edge to edge by mac as my liner this is a very pretty pink i always thought i would wear sore for my wedding but then when i started playing with makeup and um trying to to decide on the shades that i'd be using i thought that sore was actually just a little bit too strong for what i wanted i wanted a soft pink lip for the wedding day not something bold and so when i came across edge to edge i thought this is the one so so you can see it's quite a rosy pink Dusty pink, whatever you want to call it. I think it's very pretty. And then over and above that, I'm going to apply another pink favorite of mine. Oh, my fingers are dirty. But this is Cream Cut by MAC. And it is just a really, really universally beautiful standard pink. So I'm going to apply that over the top. And it's so nice and creamy. I love the texture. I very nearly forgot to do eyebrows. So... I have had my eyebrows microbladed, you might remember that video. If you are curious, I did film a video and I filmed subsequent videos as well to explain a little bit about my thoughts and whatnot so you can go and watch that video for more insights. But I still kind of fill in the tail a little bit. I don't really do anything about these edges, um, just the outside, I just fill them in a little bit. And I have to say that in terms of tweezing, I really, I've taken my grand's advice now and I don't do anything. So the only thing I'll take is like if a hair is sitting really, really low, like down here, <laughs> then I'll tweeze it. 
but otherwise I just let them do their thing and my gran was so right when she said leave your eyebrows alone don't touch them but of course when you're young you think you know better than all these wise women and you go and you pluck them for whatever reason so now I just leave them alone um I'm quite happy with that so literally on my brows that's all I'll do I'll just do the edge brush them through and that's it so I think I am done with makeup I hope you enjoyed that um the most exciting thing I have to do right now is go and buy some groceries with my full face of makeup and I'm going to put a mask on so um the lipstick will be off before any time I'm sure but uh, it needs to be done and I'm hoping that later on we'll be able to go and have lunch when Ryan wakes up so I hope you enjoyed that little chit chat while I got ready I hope you found some different products maybe you want to try I don't know you tell me do you like these kind of things also let me know that as well because um, sometimes it's nice to just chit chat about makeup especially because I haven't done makeup in a while and it's always fun to play with makeup so I have also done my hair this morning um, I did it with my JHG Creative Curl Wand and I really really like it. I was being like so precise on this side and then on this side I kind of just like wound my hair around the wand uh, not being precise at all and I actually feel like this side's better so lesson learned um, not to be so much of a perfectionist because now this side actually doesn't have the texture that this does but hopefully i can shake it out and that hairspray of mine does wonders so i'll liven it up in a second <laughs> back from doing the groceries and i'm glad that was as quick as it was and at the moment i am busy doing a nail repair because i've been doing doing so much washing lately that uh my nails <laughs> needed a little bit of a repair funny enough it's both the middle fingers but I thought I would quickly show you what all I've been using to do my nails so with all things I'm a little bit sensitive to how best to treat the environment so nails are no different so rather than using foil I found these reusable um, nail clips on take a lot they were literally dirt cheap I think these were about 35 rand for the pack and they literally just clip on with the acetone so if you're doing your nails at home and you too are a little bit conscious about waste then maybe take a look at these because they they seem really good quality and i imagine they're going to be lasting me a long time um and yeah i do my soak off like this so for my soak off i use lola lee acetone i've got the big bottle here it's probably a salon uh, salon size one litre but um, I love doing my nails so I figured that was a good thing to do then I've got a whole box of polishes in here with different shades of gel because I've become a full-blown obsessed person and so now the latest edition is this one this is the Lola Lee brush on gel which is basically um, a gelish's foundation yeah foundation um, which I've got here too. I've got it in a mini version. Then I have two whites over here. These are great. The one is more like a French white and the other one is more of a milky white. So on my nails at the moment I've got the French whites. Um, but I think I might do something different. I did this gold this morning. This like solid gold. And if you know anything about me you know that I'm a very conservative when it comes to my nails and this is the opposite of that but hey it's the festive season so I'm trying something new <laughs> and I thought about doing a French white um, in the middle with maybe just a little bit of the glitter on the bottom we'll see how that goes I don't know anyway so I've got my glitter here as well uh, this glitter is it's kind of like a, a dark gold it looks really pretty quite happy with that I don't remember the last time I had glitter on my fingers so this is very very new for me then this is my lamp this is just a sun I think it's five yeah sun five lamp that I bought on take a lot as well it's a 48 watt lamp which is great because then it cures your nails in 30 seconds because if you go anything less than that you've got to cure for a minute and no one's got that time 
So I love this lamp and yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. So I'll show you what I've created once I'm done. So we've come out for lunch today and uh, we're at the nursery and it's really, really beautiful out here and I've ordered myself a mushroom burger. Doesn't that look gorgeous? <gasps> Yum! Your pizza love? Spicy. Is it spicy? <laughs> it's got some, some hotness in this thing. <laughs> Gonna wash it down with beer. <laughs> and he asked for more chili too. <laughs> yeah. She thought you were a bit crazy for asking her. She did. <laughs> this little place is so sweet. So obviously we're looking at the nursery side. But they've got the most delightful bookshop. They also have like a little trinket shop that's got the most beautiful little decor pieces in it as well just so lovely here good evening as you can tell it is a bit later now i have just been doing my skincare routine if you're curious i've been using the elizabeth arden um ceramide lift and firm sculpting gel as my serum for the evening i kind of switch between a whole bunch retinol ceramide vitamin c a, a variety i just love all these wonderful ingredients on your skin and they do so much good and then for my moisturizer this evening i'm going in with the lamel uh, Sera lipid recovery mask i have spoken about this on my channel so many times before because i absolutely love it if you've got dry to dehydrated skin the lamel Sera range is amazing but my star of the show product is definitely the lipid recovery mask it just it's that quench of thirst for your skin in my opinion so i've just bought myself i think this is my third one maybe i've had more than that i'm not sure but i was kind of peeved it's been sitting in my bag for over a week because i was overcharged for this and i knew when it was happening but um i just went with it i was really annoyed um but i know that the usual price for it is about 475 rand to about 500 rand and i was charged 630 for this product from this one salon i was so irritated i've never bought it from them before but i saw it in their store and i could have just gone down the road to the other salon that i normally buy it from and online you can buy it for 475 so it would have been even cheaper to buy it online and i ended up spending the money but i'd already asked for it when i got to the store and they'd rung it up and it was 630 so i just went with it but now i haven't used it because i've been so annoyed um and it's just been sitting in my bag but i'm getting over it now so tonight is the night i'm going to be putting it back on my face so no complaint about lamel at all it was just the salon that was selling it that have completely overcharged for it and it's annoying so i won't do that again <laughs> um and then after i've applied that i'm just waiting for my serum to sink in a little bit before i apply that um i'm going to be reading the bear and the nightingale because it's still early in the evening and I can do some serious reading before I go to sleep and I'm really excited about it because I mentioned in my previous video that I'm reading this for the snowflake challenge of the um, Deck the Halls Readathon and the snowflake challenge is a book set in winter and this The Bear and the Nightingale is all about Russian like history and folklore so all these like myths and legends and um, interesting characters from their folklore are cropping up in the story and I love that and then obviously a, a, a Russian winter setting is the perfect fit for that snowflake prompt so that is what I'm doing I'm only about 12% in yep 12% in so I'm hoping I can get through a couple chapters this evening because I'd really like to get my teeth into it I'm already intrigued but for me personally, I don't know if you're the same, but for me personally, I need to get to page 100 and beyond before I can really get into a book. Um, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Not quite sure where it's going yet, but I'm enjoying it. And uh, yeah, I'm intrigued. I've also got my other book um, for the bauble reading prompt next to my bed. It is the Twas the Night shift before christmas sorry twas the night shift before christmas by adam k but i'm not going to be reading that this evening it is only 150 pages or less 
So I'm hoping to read that the week of Christmas because that'll put me in the perfect Christmas spirit, I think. <laughs> so yeah, lots of reading material and a good old skincare evening and I'm going to enjoy every second. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know it was kind of like a relaxed, nothing much going on kind of vlog, but they won't all be like that. Um, I've got a bit planned. So there will be a few interesting videos coming up and anyway, I hope you kind of enjoyed this relaxed at home kind of vibe. So I will see you in the next video. Please comment down below with a Christmas tree if you got to this point in the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.